Alright, hello. I just woke up, but I'm here to play poker. One dollar, ten cent buy-in, and actually I'm late regging by four minutes. Woke up in time, but then I had to use the bathroom and a little bit too slow to get to my computer, but this is still level one, so I'm not I am not missing much. The blinds go up every 12 minutes. This will be very different from the last time you saw me play. Because those are five minute levels. I don't know if we're willing to limp, but if we are willing to limp, then this is a good limping hand. Oh, so much for that. Not worth 250. I might have played for like 150, but. It came to my attention that the, uh, the little flash text doesn't actually appear on the video. So let's see. We have Muscle Man 33 from Russia. 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 <laughs> Belarus, Russia, U.S., U.S., and of course me from the U.S. Wait, the KGB guy is from the U.S. and all the other guys are from Russia? Ooh. My pocket fours guy was the one who raised. You can see from the top, from the top right, that not a whole lot of people have signed up yet, but there will be. The one dollar and ten cent buy-in. I only late reg by four minutes. We have uh, another hundred eighty-eight minutes of late registers because you know that's another rant and a half that I have about how ridiculous the late reg is on America's card game. I think six or seven levels of late reg is plenty enough. But they go for 15 of them. Sometimes I'll show the big hands that I raise with. I don't see much reason to here. Or eight handed, not nine handed. I could raise it this, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and choose not to. It's really early. It was one who raised that hand, or was it Slubble Daru who raises it? He only had what? Queen four? I'm not going to make a note on it because I'm not entirely sure. Oh, the game's not even... Sh Sorry, guys. Okay, well, now... I late rage four minutes, and I guess you guys you guys can pretend that you late rage for four minutes. Fours. Same reason I made with my tens. You guys couldn't see that I raised the pocket tens. Not actually wild about the situation. I'm kind of hoping everybody folds. It's a pair, but it's just fours. Okay. Well, they, they give, I don't even think I have to show my hand because they're giving me respect for my raises.
and it's only level one, it's kind of rare to establish respect for the raises. I think I have just enough to defend here for a min raise. As long as nobody else pumps it up. Thank you, Norton. Yeah, I'll play. Eh. That's not much. Level Daru here clearly, clearly likes to be the one to drive the action. You may drive. Okay, so he's pretty loose. Raise a jack seven of clubs. Getting some good hands to start off. I'll show this time. That's three raising tickets for me. And another pocket fours. Alright. Set it for a call and set mine this time. It's good that I don't have to say as much, considering I only know my cards. Not as much to say, so I don't have to mind my mouth when I don't need to. I you know, like physically can't because it's early in the morning. It's also heavy raining. It's not going to help me wake up. The computer is warning me about heavy snow when it's actually heavy raining right now. This microphone is really good at toning out background noise, so it'd be a little too good for its own good. Because every time I try and whisper into the microphone, it doesn't, it doesn't catch it. Slabo. Oh, crap. It's not worth it anymore. It is slobble, so he doesn't have to have a hand. Why am I getting all these good hands? Actually, I don't like Ace Jack all that much. Oh look, a 3-bit. It's slabble, so I'm not going anywhere. Now I might be going anywhere, because that flop completely airballed me. Like, I have very little improvement to my hand, so... Or, very little hope to improve my hand, rather. So he gets the pot. I'm limping and expecting a ra Oh, okay. Haven't heard much from Ghetto Garden yet. Saw that coming, but I'm coming. Certainly staying here. Pair raises. I could get wild here and raise, but... At the moment, I just have a pair of aces. I don't have a flush. I still don't have a flush. And now only seven beats me. I do have an ace, though, so let's at least see what this is. 
It's a winner. They keep dealing me all these hands that actually have some playing potential. <laughs> so I set mining again. I prefer get being dealt mostly nothing for oh there we go. Trips. Gonna choose not to slow play it. Eight, that ace ten of clubs is staring me in the face. At least I have a club. That's something. I didn't raise it all that big, so I made it big enough that KGB might call, but the other two probably would fold. If that 10 was like a diamond or a heart, maybe I would have just called and tried and get a little bit more later in the hand. Around the board. <laughs> I would have had a seven card straight, unfortunately. <laughs> it would have been on the wrong end of the board. Uh they knew they knew they were BSing each other. There we go, that's a hand I can actually fold. I guess I hadn't heard a whole lot from Ghetto Garden, but that's a significant raise. You want to rep that queen? Nope. To be honest, I don't, I don't have any kind of read on Ghetto Garden. Oh, it's a couple of jacks. I see why she put the hand that way now. And I see why uh, Desdy played the hand the way he did, too. Basketball, basketball, basketball. I find it hard to believe that with losing less than a thousand from the starting stack, I'm in 53rd place out of 63. I got nothing here. You win. A lot of the pros would call that just to see if they can, like, flop two pair. Because they're never going to put them on two pair with a junk hand like that. Okay. Small bond to big wine. Give me a second.
so many big blinds. So many big blinds. So much time. That's why I choose to play these games in the morning, because I know that if I plan on actually lasting a while, then it is, in fact, going to be a while. Full mail raise. If it's been raised already, I'll get out. I forgot I have slabbled the route to act. Oh, I'm going to just call this time. I like that flop. Bottom pair with a draw to a butt flush. Time it can be quite precious. This is not going to be the hardest decision that you had today, buddy. Okay, well, I'm happy to take it down. Almost got, almost got myself back to the starting stack. Not even going to pretend to play this one. You never panic this early in a tournament. Even Slebel Daru, I don't think, has any reason to panic at this point. He can very easily turn it around from there. Well, I think the fact that he's been in a bunch of hands and hasn't come out of them on the good side is is why he's being a little bit more quiet now. He's changing gears. Give him a little praise there. Their raise from ghetto this time, a relatively small one, so I feel like she's packing a really big pair. She was packing pocket jacks last time. Uh oh, might even be kings now. Well, it probably wasn't kings, I don't think she sold to that. It was just jacks again. Heard very little from Yardbird so far.
Nope. We're going to see very different poker this time than my free roll. We've got so much more time to just sit around, let the game come to you. Well, I got what I wanted. My flurry of big hands is over. I, I, I am now allowed to just sit back. And there's a raise under the gun. I mentioned once in my my commentary that I think that they just like skip ahead to the first action. That was an awfully quick raise, and it is under the gun, so not not calm with my seven two. I could play Jack ten for that price. Wow, that's bad flat. Hello. That's um a really huge overshove. I had a bad record with King Eight in the last one. <laughs> I think on the button I'm supposed to raise. And I am playing with Slabodaru's big blind, and he has been a little quieter now, so let's see if I can get this through. And if not, King Eight's not the worst stand in the world. Well. Muscle Man correctly does not believe me, and I'm just going to go ahead and let him have it. I should have folded. And now I have an ace. I'm make such a fish play here. <laughs> this is such a fish play. But I feel like if I have it selected instantly, it might draw just a tiny bit more respect. Okay, that's a huge raise. I'm tempted to call anyway, though. This is sending some kind of a message, but. Ah, you can, you can have it. By folding, I'm also sending a message, which hopefully I can turn on its head later on. You just raised too much. That's all there is to it. See, I've been recording for almost 25 minutes now, and I've been between 9,000 and 10,300 the entire time. This is what you can expect on the first few levels of a term of a of an actual good tournament. How card dead is Yardbird? I mean, it'd be one thing if it was, they were just AFK, but they're not AFK. They are playing every hand. They're just folding every hand. Okay, now I actually have something.
Do three bit me, I will call. Ugh. Not a lot of upside to betting here, actually. There's a good chance he's going to have a lot of hands to test me later. Although, do it seem like Ghost is clear? Yeah, I win one chip. Fives. I'm actually going to fold them under the gun. Fives aren't worth a lot. Again, I'm holding up this IRL poker face pose. More or less just as an effort to uh, help myself focus. Because it is quite early. As you remember that I am playing for real money, so let's not splash around too much. Not that I splash around that much for fake money either. I can't even call that raise. He has been quiet lately, so I had to give him credit anyway. But I got 7 3. My big blind hands have really sucked. But I have gotten my, my fair share of big cards, if not more than my fair share. I was going to limp. As pathetic as that is, but um, I can't call a 6-2. It's a pretty small race. Desi 4 Ado seems to like that small race size. Would have had two diamonds, though. Two bad diamonds. Oh, Yardbird's in this hand. I have a two pair type hand just being wary of a straight. Maybe he had two diamonds. Hmm. Not a huge bet. The only problem is one of the sixes that I could turn is a diamond, and I don't want to see that. There's only one clean out that I have, so it's just not worth it. I'm terrible at thinking, at thinking things through in video games, but uh, in poker, I'm generally much better at that. Hold them, it's not really that hard to think things through. Just two cards. I don't have much, but let's see if I can get this through. Nope. Nope. 
There's my favorite hand. Honestly, though, if the yardbird raises, I might just fold it. This time I will call a reasonable three bet. Okay. The artboard is just so tight. Ghetto Garden has opened up her play a little bit more, obviously. Lower my, lower my hand. <laughs> I think I'm warmed up now. I'm focused. Green Mamba has been in first place for a while now. Ugh. Well, silly as it looks, I will go ahead and call a min raise. There is at least a little bit of potential with it being connected and suited. Potential. That's not too much. So if Yardbird raises them out, keep going. Nice value bet. Um, I'm going to give you credit. That and I just don't think it's coming. Even if it does come, of course, it's the worst possible flush. I used to have that cat avatar, but... Oh, break. Obviously, this has not been a very enthralling start, <laughs> certainly for me personally. But, you know, I'm still there. I've still got plenty of big blinds. 85, to be exact. So... You know, it's a slow start, but it's supposed to be a slow start. And i got plenty of time to turn it around, so I'll see you in five minutes. How many tables are in play right now? I guess 12.
with 90 players active right now. Of course, there's plenty of late reds still still to go, so odds are there's going to be a new table for someone. I don't think I have to play this one. I hope somebody else comes in and raises so I don't have to play it. Well, that was a limp already in play, so... See what happens. Nope. Nothing. The full pot man. I'm out. Oh, he really likes it. He really likes it. Let's see why. Just an ace. They both have the same ace. Brave call by KGB. I don't think I would have made that call. I got a raisable hand here. Okay. Nope, <laughs> not this one. Whoa, hello. Hey, I'm recording again, right? <laughs> I've been very quiet. I think I said, oh my god. Jax, ace king, ace queen. Demon, who has been the quietest of these three, is on his way to 
Wow, he scoops that whole, almost that whole thing. I mean, that's what happens sometimes. You know, this table has been so quiet this whole time. No major events to speak of, and suddenly that happens. And the worst of the three hands won it. Apparently they're already filming a sequel. And KGB wants to be in this one. I do feel like Demon easily could have gotten away from the Ace Queen after that level of action, which we just haven't seen at this table. But he's glad he didn't. <laughs> the Ace High takes it. All right, then. Well, Tipsy Cake. It's a cute name. I like it. From Russia. I'll be more than happy to check my big blind privileges here. Not bad, not bad. Nobody raised preflop, so this is not a donk bet. Still setting up pretty well for me. Tipsy had like, I don't know, 5 4. Well, I'm beating 5 4 now. Ooh, wow, I dodged a lot of outs. They have eight, seven of clubs. And yeah, good good job not betting there. I was not folding. This is certainly callable. Unless you're Phil Hellmuth, of course. In which case he will yell at you for two minutes straight for calling this. But I think everybody who doesn't have a planet-sized ego knows that there's nothing inherently wrong with doing this. Ugh. There's nothing inherently wrong with that flop, though. And Ghetto Garden's been pretty active post-flop, so I think we'll just let her have this one. You guys, very little upside to going on here. I could have actually tried to raise her there. That might have been, that, that might have been an interesting play to see what happens. But I, try, I tend to stay away from that kind of stuff early in a tournament. It's still pretty early. A 
have taken that flop last time. Good player. Sim Goma from Portugal. I think ACR is doing the correct thing here. If they're going to have this much late reg, then the tables don't break. They just get added onto with the late reg. I still think that late reg should end like next level or perhaps a level after that. That's plenty enough for late reg. I don't think I'll ever see eye to eye with, with how with how much they allow late reg in these tournaments. Under thirty nine more minutes. That includes the breaks, by the way. Slabo Daru finally getting a little bit of momentum going again. I know she'll bet, but I I think I can snap her off. Oh yeah, easy call. Blocking the flush, I'm not too scared of that. Oh, she had jacks again. Lon McCarra Memorial Hand. It's tough to play. Hey, I'm over the starting stack, finally. Demon ranks sixth now, okay. course you know blockers are only there in theory she obviously could have the flush but i wasn't going anywhere A call with a jack three here? Hell no. <laughs> Easy decision now. I wouldn't even be thinking about it if it was if it wasn't a min raise. Ooh, wow, that would have been a great flop for my hand.
That's a that's an Omaha flop for Jack Three of Clubs. And I would have completely bricked out. Thank you, Sem Goma. Those are the only two players that aren't native to this table, as it were. Going out here. Russia versus Portugal. Big bet. Representing a 10, obviously. Or is even 10's full? That seems like a decision that you should think about. That's a big bet. <laughs> If you have wimps going through, I may as well make the ill-advised decision to... Eh. Oh, the gut shot. I think it'd be equally ill-advised to raise, because look who raised. It's the guy with 26,300 chips. Maybe I could take this, but it's not really enough in there to be worth it. But the ace works. Very happy to actually be recording a tournament now with strategy for real money. I've not done this yet. There wasn't much strategy in that last one that I put up. The $2,500 free roll. This is not a free one. Witty from the United States. And here. Prevent. My favorite hand, but let's not be crazy with it. It's probably got to be dominated. That's still playable. I mean, it looks like Demon, compared to the rest of us, is almost a shoe in to make the money, but there's so much time left just to get past the late reg that really he's not in that great of a spot yet. It was Woody who raised. It's just a continuation bet, but if he's doing that with like a pair of eights or something, I can't get him off the hand, so. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. See what Sam Goma's made of.
Maybe deciding if Witty is just bluffing with Ace King or something. It could happen. But thinks better of it. Raise your hand. Oh, blinds are up. Pretty good flop for me. Yeah, not a good turn. And a horrible river. You got it. Ah, good play. Yeah, that's just a fantastic run out for me. Whoops. Labo. Well, oh, he snap checked that. He does not like his hand. At least that's the read I'm getting off of that. But maybe that hand happens to have a 5 or 7 in it. This is not playing that well right now. No, I didn't, I didn't expect to play that well considering it's so early, but now the next turn that I have lined up actually starts in midday, so I should be awake for that. It's another holding game. I really ought to schedule an Omaha game at some point because I'm generally better at that. Ugly. Ugly. Somebody take this from me. I don't I don't want to play this terrible hand anymore. Yardberg is still extremely tight. 
Oh. And now he's no longer at the table. This looks like a a net fold, but under the gun raise, a seven's just not that good. Oh yeah, <laughs> good thing I folded. Dips the kick clearly has better than a seven. I believe there's rebuys in this one. I, I think if it doesn't say freeze out on the title of the uh, tournament in in America's Card Room, then there are rebuys. I won't be using any of them though because I don't I actually don't have room for them in my budget. I won a dollar ninety five in that free roll, but uh, I'm gonna play this and then a dollar sixty five tournament and then the two dollar fifty cent tournament, the Dream. And if I do not cash in any of them. Then that that doesn't that leaves me with less than a dollar to work with because again I'm I I wish that I could have already used my actual money to onboard the site but I still haven't done that yet because the, the robots just refuse to cooperate and the fact that I actually won a couple of bucks in free rolls means maybe I don't have to use the robots. something, but not enough. Phineas from Poland. Welcome. But it's ex ex it suited you kind of want to see either like pair in a flush draw or two pair on the flop. A lot of draws came through. It's case gonna give him credit. Oh, I'm moving on. Oh, it's Yardbird again. The Brunsons? Dude, why? United States. Yes, Cassie, Philippines. Zombie Man, Russia. Marines, Martins, Brazil. Yardbird, of course, US. And this guy from Ukraine. That's a very large re-raise. Okay, again, I don't know how to pronounce this at all. Brazil, though. From Brazil. Sacrilegious name in poker, seriously.
I'm not going to say I'm running out of chips, but I'm not going to splash around with a hand like 5-6 offsuit with my stack at this point. I'm looking for good spots at this point to to pick up a decent sized pot. Come on. Come on, Philippines. The precious, precious time bank. They don't give you more. Is that really the biggest decision you're going to have? King two. No. Especially against dinner other than Rays. Uh, we just straight up went AFK and forgot to press the button. The emergency pee break or family meeting, I don't know. I've been there before. Uh, no, not going to push that either. There's a good hand. One that is ostensibly behind Ace-2 off suit, but boy, it looks good. Not much upside in 3-betting it, though. A yard bird we know is very tight, so let's watch what he does. All right. Oh, I, actually, I think I do know how to interpret this name. Fanatic NLH stands for No Limit Hold'em. So, No Limit Hold'em Fanatic from Ukraine. Terrible. But I've got ideas. Well, I screwed up. I just had a feeling I could get that to work. Oh, he called with ace high and a gut shot. You gotta be kidding me. How could he call with ace high and a gut shot? How did he know that I had nothing? He had to know that I had absolutely nothing. That move should have worked. It really should have. I'll play the Jack Ten. Like I want to give, I want to give credit there, but like, dude, you had Ace High and a gut shot. This bet's never gonna get any credit though.
Okay. So. Another semi playable hand here. I've got a lot to recover from now. <laughs> That's not going to be good enough. I mean, I can't bluff anymore. I got completely caught and exposed. I don't believe you, but I'm not going to call either. I don't have enough chips. Oh, no, he had it. He was waiting. He was waiting for me, probably. I just came up with that bluff more or less on the spot, and I almost never do that. Of course, these guys don't know that, but... I just felt like that was a spot that maybe I could take advantage of. I was correct. I had the right idea. Martins Martins did not have much. He just had ace high and a gut shot. I don't know why he didn't fold, but he picked me off. I knew he was weak. I had the right read. I don't really have bluffy chips anymore. Bad was I just want to take this pot. I just can't. I my confidence is so dead right now. Pocket Browns. 
I don't think I was getting into full that. Oh, Yardbird's actually getting involved here. Royal Flush Drop. Oh, Jack's not good enough. I'm now at the point where I kind of need to double up. Too much. SpongeBob from Poland. Torture me. Okay, I'm officially in all inner fold mode now. Wish with the blinds going up to two fifty pretty soon. on deep not jo not Sean deep so SpongeBob's from Poland this guy is Brazil oh my god what if that was a flop with a seven of clubs <laughs> like I, I would go all in twice if I could on that flop it's this time I had what did I have three two Candles will be 30, right? I assume so. I just went up, so I'm officially all in her fold now. Oh, 
not too sad to see Martins Martins go. <laughs> Just own me in that one pop. With an extremely questionable call, but still, you own me. I had the I had the perfect read on it. He just either had an even better read, or was willing to bank the rest of his chips on a gut shot coming through. I honestly don't know what that was. Favorite hand, not worth this, though. Texas Will from the United States, okay. I figured, but yeah. Might as well check. Jack 10 from the big blind. Oh man, they're gonna make me they're gonna make me call this, aren't they? Okay, I guess I'm not all interfold, I lied. Let's see. I completely airballed. You made me spend an extra big blind on that hand. Jack friggin' ten. I have not caught many of these flops. I gotta say. I did catch one flop real good when I flopped three, uh, three threes. Didn't get much out of that, but that was kind of by design. Even my folded cards aren't connecting with the board very much. Honestly, I haven't even really noticed until now how few of my hands are actually connecting. I've been trying to, you know, play well. Without focusing so much on the actual cards. I mean, of course, I'm focused on them, but like the hand history, I'm not too focused on that. Still not good enough. Although, a closer inspection, maybe it would have worked because I only had two people to get through. Maybe I should have played that. Ugh. Good borderline hands. Obviously, if any of these guys play, I'm done. Alrighty, let's see what happens. I'm doomed. Please tell me he's doing that with King-Queen. Nope, it's Ace-Queen. And we both hit our pairs. I got hope now. Nah. See you next time. God, that was terrible.
No, I'm not. I'm not rebuying. Alrighty, well, uh, hope you enjoyed whatever the heck that was. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm I'm gonna walk away feeling reasonably okay because I just didn't have that many good hands, and I'm that one big hand. I actually had the right read. He just made the call anyway, and you know that's that. All right, so next time you see... Well, next time you see me, I'll be commentating on another final table. But uh, next time you see me play, it'll be a $1.65 tournament. So the stakes are getting a little bit higher for me, and hopefully, hopefully I actually don't suck at that one. <laughs> see you when I see you.